What's up, y'all? Oh, um, this video kind of personal. Um, some shit that happened like five years back. What is it? 2020, 2019, 18, 17, 16, 15. Yeah, this happened five years ago. Um, it's kind of been a been an impact on my life. I feel like. 85% of the time it's been, a, yeah, or 85 to 95% of the time it's been an impact, bro. Uh, and it can be, it's very tough for a lot of people. Like, uh, it's some shit, it's, it's something that I still go to today, you know what I'm saying? Um, I actually wrote a letter to her, but uh, it's just, I just, no, I just wrote a letter, bro. I just been feeling like, and it's not like, and basically, if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, my mom passed like five years ago. There she is. Um, she passed like five years ago. This can be kind of tough for a lot of people. You know what I'm saying? Just losing somebody like that. And um, that's just in your life. You know what I'm saying? So, you feel me? I wrote, That's my dream thing. I ain't wrote no dreams down. That was the only dreams I wrote down. But I just wrote her letter. I'll probably not finish with it. But it's just... Keeping these thoughts in the in the journal so I can go back and look at look at them. I got a her and my dad's prom picture, but you know what I'm saying. One of the things that just helped me get through this um, process, you know what I'm saying, just me playing sports. I've been playing sports since I was a kid, bro. And even though I'm not playing right now, it's just that I'm not focused on that right now. I'm more focused on like um just having a career, like uh just making money and stuff like that. That's not the only thing I'm focused on. I'm also meditating, doing stuff like that. And I got to start changing my life on the better. I'm already changing. I've been doing NoFap for, I, if I'm, gl I'm glad that I'm grateful that I found NoFap last year. Um, It's been an impact and it's, just, it's it's been a big transition. I've been feeling like shit sometimes. It is what it is. I mean, but you got to get through it. You know what I'm saying? But um, just about this shit, man, about this parent shit, bro. Fast track, like middle school, bro, I wasn't, uh, I think it was kind of after she died. I don't know what year it was, but I just, just play, bro. It, sometimes when you, when you, uh, some, some stuff that you used to do when, when your mom was alive or not your mom, just, just your parent in general that, that passed away or something like that. It, but it's, it's kind of, when you, when you do a certain activity, you kind of think of that person passing, bro, and it just hurts. It just hurts so much to do that, and you know what I'm saying? It's it's kind of tough, bro. But you just gotta really find out how you really feel and what you really want to do to um try to make them proud, bro. It's it's kind of tough, bro. Um, but this this shit is kind of personal, bro. I I really shouldn't even be talking about this, but yeah, this shit. It I mean, it kind of sucks, bro. Some ups and downs, bro. But um, just. People going, I know it's, it's a lot of people going through this. Motherfuckers dying every day, so it's hard, bro. And even though I know what happens after death, man, it's still hard, bro. Like, just not, just waking up and not seeing her every day. Because I'm just so used to being spoiled and shit. When I was little, I'm so used to being spoiled. That, um, It's just tough, bro. You just got to hold them close, bro. Don't take this shit for granted, bro. This shit ain't, it, I mean, she smoked, but obviously she died from cancer. She smoked cigarettes and shit. I went in there and I was just, I basically saw her dead, basically. I don't even share videos like this, bro. Like, I don't even get too deep into shit like this. But, I mean, shit, it is what it is. But I'm just kind of bringing you all this video. I wanted to try to help some people, man. Well, man, you got to find your passion, man. For, uh, be in the moment. Like, I don't feel how I feel, how I used to feel about football, bro. My, my, um, my drive changed, bro. I don't know. I'm just evolving. And I, I know it's not just me, but... Just as a person, I'm and my mind is evolving. Fast forward middle school, I feel like I had to do it for her. Then in high school, I feel like I want to do more. I got to do more. I'm, I'm starting to do more no fap things. I mean, well, no fap, just no fap and small spiritual things. I think, yeah, man, it's it's been good, but um, I mean, it hasn't been the best. You know what I'm saying? So if you lost somebody, you know what I'm saying? Just try to write those feelings down. Keep those feelings. I mean, it could be good or bad or whatever, you know what I'm saying? Whatever helps you. Because I feel like this is touching my heart in some way, so I'm I'm writing this shit down, bro. You know what I'm saying? So I'm not done. I probably might uh, finish it tomorrow. Who knows? But I just always, I, I don't even look at my journal every day, but I keep this motherfucker to, you know what I'm saying, just to look at and keep, keep down notes and shit and ideas and whatever I choose to write. But 
I mean, bro, it's, it's it's tough, bro, to just lose somebody like that, bro. You know what I'm saying? Just y'all gotta hold people close, bro. Y'all gotta hold them close, especially the closest ones to y'all that y'all love, bro. Hold on, taking that shit for granted, bro. That shit is not cool, bro. I'm telling you, you are gonna regret it, bro. If they pass away or something like that, man, some some tragic death or something, you know what I'm saying? It, it's tough, man. This this world is tough, man. I, you really you really shouldn't pay attention to social media. I'm starting to get away from the video game and getting more into the real world. Um, um, I'm I'm at a peaceful state now, but I feel like you, if you haven't found that peaceful state, bro, like say if you lost somebody, you know what I'm saying? Because everybody go through that shit, bro. Everybody's gonna go through it eventually. You are gonna lose somebody, or shit, you might be the one. You might be the one to die. You never know. People is dying every day, so man, I just want to tell y'all. Um, when you losing somebody, man, keep your head up, bro. It's gonna get better. You just gotta start making better, better choices, man. Uh, figure out how you can really help that uh, that inside feeling, bro. Cause it's a pain, bro. It's like a void and it's like a darkness, kind of. When you and I feel like you kind of feel like alone, but you just, you just some, some of the sometimes when you just lose people, you just feel at a loss for words, bro. You can't believe it. That's how I was for like the whole month. I was like, bro, she is not dead, bro. I, I just. I I'm not, I I wasn't willing to really accept that, accept that shit. <laughs> but it's tough, man. Y'all gotta hold y'all to yeah. Basically, the more this message, bro, hold the ones um that you love. You know what I'm saying? Close, um, cherish them, man. Man, y'all get together, and do something, man. It's 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 family, man. Family, bro. I'm telling you, bro. Family is something you don't play with, bro. You know what I'm saying? Keep them close, bro. They gonna be with they shit. I, shit, I know my mom was with me to the end. Shit, um, maybe your mom. It may not be your mom. Maybe your dad, brother, sister, or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Cousin, was ever closer. You know what I'm saying? Just we gotta treat. We gotta start treating everybody equal too, man. Now we we won't get that same love from everybody, man. But just making a start. You know what I'm saying? Especially towards our families and shit like that. Cause a lot of families and shit, they might go out of somewhere. They be on their phone and shit. So you know what I'm saying? We got to start being more in the real world. That's why I'm kind of coming out of this video game thing and shit. But I still be playing it, but you know what I'm saying? I, I got to take breaks from it. It pisses me off, but this has just been some of my mind. She passed away in 2015, you know what I'm saying? I don't want to get too deep into it. This is the little card I had since 2015. It's been a couple years. But, um, yeah, and, it, and it's time. Time is fine past, bro. It's a whole bunch of shit. We just got to find, bro. I don't know. Just get outside, do something, do something out outside. Um, me personally, what I like to do is what got me through this. Like, I wouldn't even say depression, but if you you might be going through depression or something like that, <laughs> the sadness is just um kind of staying staying active and just you know what I'm saying you know, you're not gonna forget the the person you lost. It's not gonna fully uh fulfill that need, but you know what I'm saying just to. Uh, Keep keep being active, you know what I'm saying. Stay, uh, do some positive, do some positive that would that would that would um that that loved one would really like, or you you would just you just feel like your heart is just pulling you towards that some something that you want to do, man. It's 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 tough, and and for me, like in middle school, that was football, man. I I just man, I had one of the best careers, even though we didn't win that many games. You know what I'm saying? I feel like I did I did my best. I left it all on the field. It wasn't nothing personal, man. It was just about me just bettering myself. And who the fuck is that? Just bettering myself and doing it for her, you know what I'm saying? So um, we all got our reasons why we do things, have certain jobs, and just why we play sports, why we play certain sports, why we just why we do a lot of things in life. We all have our own reasons, bro. Inspirations. To me, this has been because, you know what I'm saying, I feel like, her I gave me kind of motivation, you know what I'm saying? I mean, it can always give you motivation, get kind of get you thinking outside the box. For me, I was just spoiled, you know what I'm saying? This gave me a this this helped me understand and kind of really appreciate her much more when she died cuz you know what I'm saying? You never know. But I mean, we all spiritual beings. A soul is does not die out, bro. We are spiritual beings, so we all have a soul. You know what I'm saying? Maybe shit. We gon we gonna meet up when we die, you know what I'm saying? So it ain't mean it's, it's all love though. It's all love. I know a lot of people going through this shit right now. 
especially motherfuckers in hoods and shit like that. People getting killed and all that shit, bro. I, I hate hearing them. I don't even, man, that shit is not cool, bro. We got to start. I, I I can't even say we got to start because well, I, I got to start doing certain shit. So, you know what I'm saying? I can't, I ain't got no room to talk, but just cherish your family, man. It's, they are, we all we got. We all we got. They might be not, they might even, might not even be blood, but you know what I'm saying? They just close with you. They always, they been in there since day one. You know what I'm saying? You get very few of those people in your life, bro. You got to, you get very few, bro. Like one or two, one or two or three. But I mean, that's it, dog, man. Um, yeah, just start writing in a notebook, man, write down your feelings, man, I write down some positive emotions, kind of negative emotions too, it kind of brings back negative emotions, but, I mean, not negative emotions, but negative thoughts and shit, negative memories I've had, and it kind of just brings back the memories, you know, just jog back the memories and shit that I did, that's basically the whole point of me writing this, but, yeah, man, just...